There's a short video just to show the uh, completed project here of adding uh, an S meter to this little Tentec uh, 1254 shortwave receiver. Kind of a part two video. The last video I uh, I did I kind of showed uh, the design of the circuit that I built to, to make this thing work. I had it kind of sitting in the in the vise over here, but now it's all mounted in the radio, and I've got the uh, the meter in an enclosure, so you can kind of see it moving here. If we turn the volume up, we'll. Uh, See it respond there. So I'll show you kind of how I finish this project off here. So the meter, as you can see, is mounted in this little plastic, uh, you know, project case I just got picked up from Radio Shack. Cutting the square holes is always a bit of a pain in these things, but seem to work out okay. And I just have a small piece of uh, coax coming out of the back, and that's running into uh, the back of the radio here. Uh, into this, uh, I just put a little eighth inch jack here, so that just connects the uh, the meter to the radio, so I can very easily disconnect it if I don't want to have it on there. And I'll show you how I put it in here. So I pulled the screws off of this thing here already, so you pull that off. And uh, this is the solder side of the board down here. Um, what I was showing in the video, the previous video, was the uh, component side of the board. But there's a little more room on this side, so I mounted the board on this side. Now there's this plate. This cat has got a 9-volt battery underneath the tape here and then the speaker. And if I hinge this thing up here, you can kind of see how I installed this in here. I'll turn this around. So there's my circuit board that I put together. Um, and I just mounted it. Uh, kind of see a little bit of a standoff right there and uh, with a little screw. And uh, I've got some uh, Kapton tape insulating it so it doesn't short against the, the aluminum uh, chassis here. And I just have uh, a number of wires connecting in for power. That's the black and the red. And then also uh, a wire going out to the meter and a wire going out to the point where I'm picking up EGC. So I just got these wires coming down and tacked into the board in the various spots to pick up power and the AGC. And, and then you can see kind of the back of the jack mounted uh, right at the back panel. So that's how we uh, finished this project off and uh, create a neat little uh, S meter for this uh, little 10 tech receiver. It's a fun little project and uh, hope you enjoyed watching it.